help them, I guess, learn more about the outdoors and become better stewards of the environment. Yes, she is. A fun way to teach kids about science, why it took them seven months to get to this day. It was an absolutely perfect day for some fifth and sixth graders to get to the Muskegon Nature Preserve. Fox 17's Teresa Rashid tells us now how they got to take some lessons they learned in the classroom to the great outdoors. Wow, look at his back fill up, guys. The cleanup is part of the learning experience for Reese Buffer Elementary students. I'm not. Yes, she is. The fifth and sixth graders went to the Muskegon Nature Preserve to learn more about the environment. Teacher Jim Morris has been bringing students here for a few years. This is River Calls. He wanted his students to experience nature. So to really help them, kind of an outdoors person, and help them, I guess, learn more about the outdoors and become better stewards of the environment. He's also teaching them to use technology. For seven months, students raised salmon eggs and charted their growth using computer spreadsheets. It was cool. It was really neat. This is the day students have been waiting for, the chance to release their salmon. At this point, the salmon are about one to two inches long. The children know not every fish will make it. Yeah, there are only a few survive of how many you let go. Still, some of the kids name their salmon. I named my fish Jimmy Hoffa Jimmy. And why? Because we can't find Jimmy Hoffa, and then maybe we'll find him in the next two and a half years when he comes back. Before the release, some of the students tell tales about their fish. He'll go downstream and then he'll meet some girlfriend. Then they say goodbye. There he goes! There he goes! These students feel like they're helping the environment. I feel that we're helping the environment because we're letting more salmon into the lake and we're not just, like, catching them and killing them and stuff. In Muskegon, Teresa Rashid, Fox 17 News at 10. And Mr. Morris is working with the state to try to get more schools involved in the salmon release program.